Countering tax evasion and fiscal avoidance. Prevention and suppression of EU frauds. Tax losses and public expenditure controls. Custom controls. Fighting forgeries and protecting made in Italy products. Counteracting illegal gambling. Safeguarding the energy market and cooperating with the authorities. Opposing illegal movement of money and money laundering activities. Combating usury. Protecting artistic, archaeological and environmental heritage. Counteracting various forms of organized crime and in particular drug trafficking. Controlling European community borders and performing rescues both at sea and in the mountains. Ensuring international cooperation. This is what the men and women of the Guardia di Finanza do. They call us the Fiammi Gialli or Yellow Flames because of the yellow badges on the collars of our uniforms. We stand by society, serving the state and its citizens to ensure the healthy, well-balanced development of our country. First and foremost, we help guarantee the foundations for correct, fair participation of all, providing support for public finances as outlined in our constitutional charter, and ensuring that the resources collected are used in compliance with the law in pursuit of the collective well-being. We stand beside those who make the most of their own work, their own intellect and their own creative, productive abilities. We stand beside those who work for a better future in the conviction that educating people to lawfulness means teaching respect for others. We steadfastly work to update and enhance our ability to counteract the perils of economic and financial crimes. We are ready to intervene in any type of emergency, always at the service of the Italian Republic, its constitution and its federal, regional and local institutions. The origins of our organization date back to October 1st, 1774, when the Legione Truppe Leggere, or Light Troops Legion, was set up under the King of Sardinia, Victor Amadeus III. After the unification of Italy in 1862, the Corpo delle Guardie Doganali, or Customs Guards Corps, was established, its principal goals being customs surveillance and participation in wartime defense of the nation. Later, with Law 149 passed in April 1881, the Customs Guards Corps took on the name of Corpo della Regia Guardia di Finanza, or Royal Guardia di Finanza Corps, whose task was to impede, suppress and report smuggling activities and any other violation and transgression of financial laws and regulations. The main goal of the Royal Guardia di Finanza Corps was to guard the national borders, manning and providing surveillance at the border posts. In fact, at Fiume in 1920, the poet Gabriele D'Annunzio dedicated to us the motto, Nec recisa recedit, no retreat even when broken. Yesterday, guarding the Italian borders. Today, protecting economic and financial security of the nation, the regions, the local governments and the European Union. Its task is to assist the nation in fulfilling its commitment to ensure progress and the public order in harmony with current law. The Guardia di Finanza still retains its military status, integrating features of the armed forces 
with those of a modern police force with general authority in all questions involving economics and finance. It reports directly to the Italian Minister of Economics and Finance. Clear language, transparency and information are the key instruments within a framework of change that involves all aspects of society, economic, social and civil. The Corps' commitment to guaranteeing economic and financial freedom for all citizens has always remained unchanged, in line with government plans and directions, and with strategies for action that focus on two priorities. Counteracting fiscal and tax evasion ensuring economic security and controlling the territory. The two passwords are effectiveness and efficiency. In line with modern choices, these have always characterized our institutional activities. We work unceasingly in the skies, on sea, and on land. The Corps' Airborne Department patrols Italian territorial waters and land, providing ongoing surveillance, safeguarding the economic financial interests of the nation and the European Union. Its aircraft can perform multitask missions that exalt the capabilities of the operations instrument. The Corps' fleet of aircraft includes planes and helicopters assigned to such departments as the Air and Maritime Exploration Group at Pratica di Mare that manages the entire fixed wing component. The Air and Naval Specialization and Standardization Center, also headquartered in Pratica di Mare which provides national training of all Guardia de Finanza flight personnel. The flight departments are made up of the regional air units. Even in the mountains, these groups have jurisdiction over the territory and territorial waters, coinciding with the regional command district they report to, and the Air Operations Command, Sezioni Aree di Manovra for carrying out long-range sea surveillance, mainly for international operations. The Corps has recently undergone major re-engineering of its naval department, upgrading it to deal with the evolving geopolitical scene in the Mediterranean basin and, in particular, to counteract illegal trafficking and immigration. This framework includes the creation of a high seas component and a regional component. The high seas component is responsible for advanced defense. It protects the nation's economic financial interests and patrols the Mediterranean to ensure safe trade, combat trafficking in human beings and illegal products through closer cooperation with other European Union coastal countries and with all those countries open to common development within a security framework. The regional component, under which the Air Naval Operational Departments, broken down into a naval station and an air section, operate, ensures security in the territorial waters and on land. Moreover, it performs the economic financial policing of activities directly related to the sea, the harbours and the business operations that the Fiamme Gialli is renowned for. These are our operational fields. Compliance with the rules. Guarantee fiscal fairness prevent and repress fraud detrimental to the European Union, counteract black labor, protect the state monopoly on gaming, pools, lotteries and the like, cooperate with the independent administrative authorities. Market security, 
combat the high cost of living, counteract the market of counterfeit products and the circulation of hazardous products, ensure a high degree of protection by controlling the movement of goods, oversight for correct application of excise duties. Guaranteeing economic freedom, counteract the various forms of organized economic crime and illegal environmental and archaeological acts. Protecting the community, build a safer society, helping to maintain public order and security, dealing with illegal immigration, and performing rescues at sea and in the mountains. Globalization, build solid, effective relationships of cooperation with foreign countries and international bodies. The commitment of the military personnel, the men and women of the Guardia di Finanza, continues in the internal organization programs to achieve a more efficient, simplified management through a project management program used to achieve a new plan for technological innovation. An ever-increasing social commitment through ongoing intervention in providing solidarity. An ongoing improvement in communications, actively participating in the world of information in order to maintain more effective foreign relations and ensure professionalism and transparency in existing relations with the public. This work is adequately supported by a modern institutional website. Our image also asserts itself through excellence in sports. The Guardia di Finanza had 41 athletes at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing and won seven medals, including Giulia Quintavalli's gold medal in judo. Five core groups of athletes represent the Italian colors in athletics. Judo, karate, swimming, archery, and fencing. In rowing and canoeing, sailing, winter sports, as well as orienteering, free climbing, and ice skating. These are the Fiamme Gialli, present among the people wherever the need for security, control, assistance, and solidarity is greatest. These are the men and women who have been trained in excellence by the Corps' educational training commands, institutes, and centers, such as the Tax Police School, the Guardia di Finanza Academy, Inspectors and Superintendent School in L'Aquila, and the Trainee Legion, which provides specific military training programs to meet the demands of a modern police corps. The officers who have received a university-level education at the Guardia di Finanza Academy in Bergamo and Castel Porziano are recruited through public competitions and by educational qualification. The historic uniform worn by first-year cadets when off duty and the sword awarded to them by seniors gives the cadets a sense of the traditions and ideals that they will carry with them as they undertake the long, onerous march through their studies and their commitment to serving the nation. We have pledged allegiance to the Republic of Italy and its constitution. We believe in preparation and personal sacrifice, and we are committed, heart and soul, to facing the dangers and deviations of civil society with both strength and intelligence. Through our daily commitment, we serve Italy and its citizens in the mountains, on sea and in the skies, on the roadways, on the job and in sports. We respect the dignity of those we oppose, and through our sense of duty, we honor our military personnel who have lost their lives in the line of duty. To ensure future generations a society that is more just, more safe, and more united. Industrious at work. Capable in the face of progress. United in the face of need. Serene in relations and bolstered by lawfulness and justice.